Welcome to the R video tutorial on writing functions in R. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to write basic functions in R. All right, so I'm in R. I've already loaded up some data, which I've labeled D1. So I want to create a function. In order to create a function, I need to give the function a name. So that's the first thing I'm going to write here. So I have full sum 1, and this is going to be where I assign my function to. Then the next thing I have is the assignment operator. And then next to that, I have the word function. And that means that this is going to be a function. And in parentheses, I have x. And that's going to be whatever I'm going to put into my function. Now, the most important thing is, is that you have these curly braces. One at the beginning of your function, one at the end of your function. Everything that's in between those curly braces, the function will execute. The function is going to run everything that's in the middle of there. So I've just created a simple function that's going to give me the summary of x, it's going to give me the mean of x, it's going to give me the standard deviation, some quantiles, and it's also going to make a plot for me. And the reason you really want to do functions is often you'll have to do repetitive types of analyses over and over and over and over again. And you don't want to have to type summary of for each one, mean for each one, standard deviation for each one, quantile for each one. What you'd like to do is simply have a function where you can just put in what your variable is and it does everything for you from there. And that's the idea of using a function. It's so you don't constantly have to tell R line by line what to do. It's all wrapped up in a function. So in order to get the function into R, you only have to do this once in each R session, but submit it to the console. All right, full sum one is now available to us. We can use it. So I'm going to put in here full sum one. My data set that I have already have in here is D1, and let's see what happens. Okay, so I get a plot. It didn't do anything for summary, it didn't do anything for the mean, and it didn't do anything for the standard deviation of the quantiles. So something's not right here. And the thing is, is when you're inside of a function, R tries to be as quiet as possible on writing things to the console. So inside a function, if you really want something put on the console, you need to actually tell R to do that. So that's what I have over here in my full sum too. I've just taken the exact same code that I had before, and I've added to it print. You can see print summary x, print mean x, print standard deviation x, print quantile x. And what this is going to do is this is going to tell the function, yes, I do want you to put this to the console. So please calculate this and write it to the console. So what I can do is, again, I'm going to compile this function or add it to R by submitting it to the console. Okay, now full sum 2 is ready for us to use. So we can come over to the console and simply use full sum 2. Again, full sum 1 is still there. It didn't go anywhere. But now I can put in here full sum 2, my data set that I have that I'm interested in, which is D1. And now let's see what happens. So what do I get? I get the picture that I had before, but I also get all of the information that I wanted printed out. So it's important when you use a function, if you want it printed to the console, you need to remember to tell it to print it to the console. Because R tries to be as quiet as possible when it's using a function. All right. So another thing you might want to do is pass more than one argument to the function. So far in our function, we've only put in D1, which is our data set. But we might want to put in other things. So you can actually add additional things to put inside your function. For example, in this full sum 3, I've added another input, which will be X label 1. And what it's going to do is down on the histogram in the box plot, it's going to add that as a label on my X axis. So I'm saying, well, I don't really like the label that it has there. I would like to have some other label. So that's what I'm going to add to this one. And you can add many, 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 many options as inputs into functions in R. All right, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to submit it to the console. 
Okay, now that we've submitted that to the console, full sum three is available for us to use. So if I want to put the, this to use, I go over here, put in full sum three, and I put in D1, okay, just like I did before. And notice we have an error. It says error as dot graphics a not x lab. Element one is empty. So it can't produce the picture because we didn't put our argument in there, what we wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here something simple. Full sum three. D1 is my data set. And now I'm going to put in here x label one, which is what I named the variable. And I'm going to give it a name to put on the x label. So I'm going to call it, let's say, x label here. Now I can run this, and bingo. Look, I get the picture that I wanted, and it actually put the labels on there along the x-axis, as well as spit all, all the information that I wanted. Okay, so this has been an introduction to writing functions in R. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.